So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys, we try and test the best Viger farms for new to early players after the latest patch of 1.1.222 I believe it's 1.1.224 on PC the patch arrived earlier today uh, for PC and not too long ago for console players today we test out how's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe Okay, so with the latest patch of 1.1.222, 1.1.224, it seems as though the AFK farm has been nerfed. That's what we're going to get straight into. At the vestige of blind Agatha, um, I can confirm for me anyway, this thing doesn't work anymore. Pre-patch, I was actually doing it, guys. You can see I got 74,000, well, 72,000 Viger. I actually had that there. I quit out my game, I download the latest update for the game, come back, and I cannot get it to work. I don't think it works anymore. It doesn't matter how close you've seen this on the screen now. It doesn't matter how close you get to the ledge, to that corner, to that place where you almost fall off. The, the Red Reaper, we call him, within the Umbra Realm. He basically don't spawn in, he don't die. He just, you see like a red shadow on the other side of where that Viga normally like accumulates. It he, he, this doesn't work anymore and what I've also noticed is people that it seems as though that enemies spawn on the other platform that will shoot you and kill you I had this happen to me both times I, tr I tried it twice both times I failed I've never failed this before I got it working every single time uh, so yes it definitely though now guys seems as though the AFK farm within um, the vestige of the blind Agatha the battle room does not work which is a shame Looks like I'm going to start hunt for another one for you guys, people. I'm just going to have to hunt for another one. But there's also, guys, a couple of other farms you can abuse. Um, actually quicker than the AFK farm for early players. Anyway, yes, I know there's some late game farms where you upgrade your weapons, put certain things on. We can earn a stack of that Viger. But what I will say is when you're in the later stage of this game, I mean, it's quite easy to kill certain enemies anyway. I don't think you really need to stress about farming Viger in those, in those later stage stages of the game i really don't but for new and early players it's probably important to level up uh just to get well you know accumulated with the levels and things and just get get your ranks up so yes this one right here still works it is again the vestige of blind agatha or the this one and the one i'm going to showcase as well is also at this vestige so you need to come to this this is the vestige you'll come to after beating the Scourge Sister Delif, you'll eventually come to here. I mean, you have to come this way anyway, uh, which is probably the second or third boss in. The second one after Pieta is Scourge Sister Delif. You're seeing that on screen now, which is such an easy fight, people. You shouldn't worry about that. But once you're done with that and you scale around, you'll come to this vestige. So from this vestige, guys, you see that guy there? The point ahead. This one still works. If you run past him, he follows you straight off the map just like so and you boost back on you get that Viger you get Viger from the enemies that see that enemy up there sometimes that enemy will also die if you don't don't worry about it just grab the Viger run back and rest and this is all you got to do <laughs> this is all you've got to do now there's uh, something called the Moth Ring which is also easily obtainable which I'll showcase to you guys at the end how that's obtained I mean if you put that on that gives you additional Viger which I believe it adds like 10% so again just run past this guy he will follow you off the map just run and jump off the map just like so when you spawn back up you get I think you probably get about 700 per run in doing this as well you sometimes get items looks like so which you can sell got another one there I see that enemy up there has just died now so we get that Viger too so you can see that I got just about 800 uh, Viger for that which isn't bad. I'm just going to try and see if I draw anything in here. No, I don't. So yeah, again, guys, then you just do that and you run back to the vestige and rest. It's so, so quick. It's so, so fast. It's so easy. It's unreal. Again, run past. I'm not sure how quick you can actually get this. You can get this down so efficiently. Jump off. Spawn back up. Grab the Viger, run, 
and rest. That is it, guys. That is it. Okay, so now I'll showcase you guys the other uh, farm. Isn't as I don't know if it is as fast as this one, to be honest, but from the same vestige of blind Agatha, who want to come left of the lift. So you've got the lift there. You want to come left of the lift, and you want to come to this point right here. And then, guys, you just want to go into that humble state. Oh, got some audio issues coming on there. Don't know if you guys heard that. I just want to come this way. I hear a little bit of sound clipping. And you want to run up here. And you will need a seedling for this as well. So you need a seed to create the seed, uh, the anchor between realms. So keep that in mind. That's if this works, by the way. So you plant that there. Have I got one? Yes, I have got one. So you plant this here. Just like so. And let's quickly rest. And from here, guys, this one's actually quite sneaky. This one's quite, <laughs> quite badass. I mean, it's quick. I'm not sure if it's as quick as that one I just showed you. So what you do from here, guys, is you run to this corner and then pop into that umbra realm. And see enemies on the other side of this wall will die. Then you just siphon the, the Viger. Just like so. And you run back and rest. Just like so. I mean, you get more doing the first one. But I think this may be quicker. In accumulating it over a long a while. I mean, it could be. Again, go to this wall. Enter that umbral. Siphon all that good shiz. Just like so. And then go and rest. Just like that. It really isn't that easy. What's actually happening here, guys, is I'll show you. Because if we enter the umbral realm, so hopefully you don't kill him. It might have actually, but either or. What happens is there's a room here. You can see this room here, guys? See all these red things on the wall? They explode and kill all the enemies down this way. Which is pretty cool. So that's actually what happens. And then you just siphon all of that. All of that, Viger. And it really is that simple. These are the earliest of, well, the best early game farms. Hey, I got no, what, what? Why's my player naked? What's going on there? These are the best early game Viger farms. Like I said, there's some late game, mid to late game, but in my opinion, I don't think you really need them. I don't think you really need them. I think you get like 600, 6 or 700 per doing this. So yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Now, guys, on screen now, you'll see where you get this moth ring from. So, yes, do what you got to do and grab that if it's something of interest to you. But there we have it, guys. The working best early game uh, Viger Farms for Lords of the Fallen. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.